Hey guys, it's Bradley Honest, and today is Try It Tuesday. And today is Universal Yum's Day. So, I know a lot of you have been kind of paying attention to the Universal Yum's line. It's kind of cool where they have a different themed, uh, or they have snacks from a different country every month. Um, the first month we did was USA, the next one was um, something. Taiwan? Taiwan, then Brazil. Brazil. Now we don't know what this month is. So, uh, a little bummed that I've missed out on some of the other European countries. It looks like mostly uh, more Asian ones is what they're coming with. And so, let me show you what is in the box here. And there's actually two levels of subscription there's the Yum Box which is like 15 bucks, and then there's the Yum Yum box, which is what I have, which is $25, uh, including shipping. And today's, or this month's theme, is Thailand. See? And so they always have some kind of themed tissue paper that goes along with the country, the country's flag. And let's see here. And they also, they give you a little pamphlet that has some trivia on some of the different things that are in the box. Uh, it also kind of gives you a description about what's in the box and the different little things that are in there and some trivia behind uh, maybe where the producers are from or why that particular snack got picked. Maybe it's popular, maybe it's not, I don't know. But let's kind of go one by one here and go through the box. So the very first thing in the book is the Hanami Shrimp Crackers Hot Chili Flavor, which like this right here so they look like kind of crinkle cut fries but I'm guessing they're gonna be a lot they're not fried though it says non-fried snack interesting the prawn crackers Let's try these bad boys out mm, it's a small all spicy but not not too bad they're actually pretty good that's what those look like, right there. Ooh, a little heat sneaks up on you. They're not overly spicy. Ooh, those are pretty good. Okay. When you um, bite into it, there's definitely crunch there, like it's a cracker. As you can hear her, the wife snacking in the background. There's not really a whole lot of spice to it when you when you first bite into it, but like one or two in, it kind of starts creeping up on you. It's not it's not overpowering at all, but you get a little bit of a kick there. Just a little bit. She's shaking her head at me. Oh, it's not spicy. Yeah, it is. It's not spicy in the fact that it's overpowering at all. I'm saying you feel that little bit of spice that's there. The chili powder. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. The next thing is Glendy Chocolate Coconut Chips. I hate coconut. I really hate it. But, for you guys, I will eat some coconut chips. It says yummy yummy Glendy Coconut Chips chocolate flavor. So I'm wondering if they're just chocolate covered coconuts. That's kind of what they look like right there. Those aren't bad. I like coconut flavor. I don't like the texture of coconut. But these are so dried out. That I don't get the fibrous texture of coconut. They almost like melt in your mouth. It's actually not bad. This is for a guy that hates coconut. Those are actually pretty good. Don't say I don't try anything for you guys because I hate coconut. And the wife is like all bug eyed like, you're eating coconut multiple times? It's pretty good. Anyway, those look like. Wife loves coconut, so. 
These are pretty good. They're like very thinly cut strips that are dehydrated, and so that makes them extra crunchy. You don't get any kind of moisture in them at all. Not much chocolate flavor either. It's subtle, but it's there. Trader Joe's, or Farmer Fred's, mm -hmm. has coconut chips that are taste just like these. Oh, okay. Uh, next thing is, so I, I don't speak Thai, guys, so I'm sorry if this isn't right, but it's Tao K Noi Big Roll Barbecue, which is this thing right here. I hope you guys can see that. It says grilled seaweed roll, barbecue sauce, tasty and easy. Okay. It says the little cartoon guy in the front is their uh, company's, it's a cartoon drawing of the company's owner. Interesting little tidbit. So those are cool little things you read on the, on the stuff there. Oh yeah, that's, that's seaweed, all right. Oh, that's awful. Oh. Holy crap. Oh, get that away from me. Oh, there's two of them. Oh. Oh, it's giving me all tingly. Oh, man. Tastes like seaweed. It tastes like nasty seaweed. Get a big old bite of it. Don't just nibble off a piece. You gotta get a big old bite like I had. Oh, that was disgusting. It's not that bad. It tastes like fish butt, okay? It's like seaweed paper that you get, but with barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna be burping that up later. Uh, next thing is fashion food tomato flavor cracker. Thailand's not my favorite country right now because it's giving me all these flavors that I hate. Um, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes. I like tomato sauce. I like some things tomato, but not overall a big tomato guy. That's what these look like. They taste like ketchup. Yeah, they do. It just tastes like ketchup chips. Mm hmm They're kind of good. Those are all you. She's got a little pile going of all the stuff she's going to eat from me. Okay, next thing is Euro Pandan... Pandan cake? Pandan cake? Which is... This little guy. Right here. Which... There's European bakery all over it. But it's in Thai, so I can't tell what's in it. It looks like it's got some kind of juicy center in there, so we'll see. It smells good. It says it's a cake. Mm. 
very mild flavor. The cake part is good. I can't tell what the center part is. Do you want a piece of it? Let me try. Mm. It's good. The pamphlet doesn't say? It's a pandan plant. So it's a Thai plant. I don't oh. know. That's it's not a bad. Thai, Thai specific plant. Okay, next is United Coffee Candy, which I got a few of those in the box there. The little candies here. It's sold as a substitute for a real cup of coffee. Contains as much caffeine as a small cup of coffee. It won't be wired tonight then. That's my kind of candy. Okay. It's almost got a toffee. It tastes like toffee too. Consistency. Mm. Bit hard. That's not bad. Uh, got a bonus item, which is the instant Thai tea. Has distinctive orange hue. And it's found in a lot of the street market vendors. So they mix it with uh, black Ceylon tea with sugar and condensed milk. And they mix it in four foot long tubes. So all I got to do is pour this in a cup of hot water and boom, it's there. Which I don't have a uh, cup of hot water, so I guess you can have it hot or cold, it says. I'll have to try that out later. It seems pretty straightforward. So, I'll put that aside. Try that out later. Uh, let's see, next thing. Tom Yum Pretz. Which... It's a little box of these guys. Which, I'm guessing is Pretz is short for pretzels, so maybe it's their... Tom Yum flavored. I don't know what Tom Yum is. <laughs> They're crunchy, salty sticks. It's a sour and spicy soup made with shrimp, lemongrass, lime, fish sauce, and crushed chili peppers. CNN rated Tom Yum Guang as the eighth best food in the entire world, beating out donuts, tacos, and ice cream. That's pretty big reputation to live up to, so I'm kind of interested in trying some of these. Inside, they're very small. See, pretty thin. I definitely get the lemongrass. Something's making me tweak. I don't know what that spice is, but holy crap, it sneaks up on you. Try it out. Something snuck up on me. I don't know what it was. Sour. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Kind of takes the air right out of you, doesn't it? She's she's going like this. <coughs> okay, little farm garlic bread is next. So oh, that's really little. <laughs> I thought it was from a little farm, not little garlic breads.
think it just sounds like what it is based on the description here, so we'll try it out. Oh yeah, there's two little garlic bread thingies in here. So it looks like a little crouton. It's got some kind of sugar or something on it too. It's very garlicky, but I like it. kind of different isn't it it's got some kind of sweet sugary mm -hmm. something on it it's like garlic toast with like sugar or something sweet on there maybe honey or something on there it looks like sugar yeah it's pretty good though it's different mm. from what we're used to over here in the states garlic bread wise but okay. it's pretty good green tea Thai Pocky okay green tea flavor. Well, I'm going to try it for you guys. You like Pocky. Mm -hmm. You like green tea? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Wants to be another snack to add to your pile over there. Looks like it's the same company as we did the pretzels too. You know what Pocky is? Basically little breadsticks covered with chocolate. It doesn't really taste like anything. I mean they're green. Green tea. I don't, get, I don't get the green tea taste all that much. A little bit. Okay. You want those? Okay. You want the sour ones too? Nope. No, you can take them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next thing is spicy sesame coated peanuts. Ooh. Which looks like Tom Gordon. Seems like there's quite a few in here. Definitely smell like peanuts. So it's exactly what it sounds like. Spicy, spicy coated peanut. It's crunchy. It's not hard like a normal peanut. It's real spicy. <laughs> those are those are good. Yeah. They're good, really good. They're really good, but they're spicy. Okay. I kind of like those. <coughs> you have to have some milk with that. Just kind of tone it down. So you eat that whole bag, you're going to be like... Oh. Woo. Okay. Next thing is Amira and Tamarind Candies. It says, what is a tamarind? Glad you asked. It's a tree. Originally grown in Africa that produces a fruit that comes in a pod like a pea. Inside the pod is a few large seeds and a sticky tart pulp. The pulp is used for tenderizing meat, making jams and chutneys, adding flavor to drinks, and making Worcestershire sauce. Okay. It's the main ingredient in these candies. Hmm. Okay. Which... Are these little guys? Right here. We've got a couple of them in the box. Oh, man, those peanuts are spicy. 
coming back to me. Oh, there we go. They look like little, little cough drops. I don't think I've ever tasted that flavor before. It's not bad. Okay. It doesn't taste like Worcestershire at all. I mean, Worcestershire has a lot of stuff in it. But it's more sweet than anything. Not bad. No. Okay. It looks like the very last thing in the box, guys, is the Shanghai Strawberry Cream Wafers. Which, these will probably be pretty good. So like this. Kind of looks like a Kit Kat, pink Kit Kat. Oh yeah, there's a strawberry. It's not bad though. They're real subtle. It smells like strawberry more than it tastes like strawberry. We have something similar, but they're not coated in strawberry. You know, the, the strawberry wafers with the cream and oh, yeah. the vanilla and chocolate. Yeah. It kind of tastes like that. Yeah, the Neapolitan ones. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good. Well, that uh, that's all that's in the box. So this month's uh, theme was Thailand. So hopefully you guys enjoyed me everything uh, everything that I tried out of the box here. Because um, for twenty five bucks, that's pretty good. There are a couple things I didn't really care for in the box, but the majority of things I really liked. And so I think we'll continue seeing what next country is for the next month if you guys have any questions or comments make sure you comment down below in the comment section if you like this video hit that thumbs up button guys i really really like when you hit that thumbs up button we love growing the channel thumbs up button helps grow the channel so does the subscription button it's my little play button guys so if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and uh feel free to share this video as you see fit guys and until then have a nice day.